Welcome back to Through the Ringer. We're here with Cousin Sal, and we now have some fun. We're going to look ahead to Thursday night football. Uh, getting a little bit better, Sal, as we watch these Thursday night football games. And we got a good mm. matchup this week. AFC North showdown here. We got the Cincinnati uh, Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And this game is uh, right now Baltimore minus six and a half. The total 52 and a half. Who do you like in this one, Sal? And uh, a nice divisional matchup on Thursday night football. Should be it's fun. It's a fun one. I'm looking forward to this. It was 41 41- 38 I think last time they played in overtime Baltimore won in Cincinnati when I picked the line with Simmons I thought this was a little high I had it at five and a half it's already at six and a half I guess Cincinnati's not to be trusted but like I said they played a month ago there was 79 points scored the quarterbacks combined for nine touchdowns and one interceptions the Bengals um, have lost three in a row to the Ravens and I don't expect either defense to show up Uh, The last three have been in the 50s and 70 points. So I would say high scoring affair. I'm not sure which way I'm leaning for the side. Yeah, and I will say the Ravens defense, passing defense in particular, has been terrible. They're the worst in the NFL. And if there was ever a game for Joe Burrow to kind of send a message in the passing game into the rest of the league to say, hey, Cincinnati's still hanging around, this may be the game to do it. Uh, Let's look at some player props. You like Henry, right, Sal, over, uh, right, in rushing yards? I do. How did, how did you know I don't, I don't, I just, In my mind, what? I just saw that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 90 and a half. It went from 87 and a half already. We're not even like a, a day before the game. But 90 and a half is minus 114. I'm going over. Bengals 24th in rush defense. They allow a buck 40 on the ground per game. 100 to Barkley and Chuba Hubbard. Henry had 92 on the ground last time they played each other. Mm-hmm. He's hit his over six of the last seven and five of his last six at home. He likes to show off in front of the home crowd. I don't know. It's a real, real weirdo like that, but lots of offense, lots of King Henry go over his player prop total. I like that. Anytime it's a King Henry over, I'm a fan Mm -hmm. of it. I'm going to go with Deontay Johnson. Anytime touchdown sound plus two seventy. I do feel like they want to validate this trade. I do feel like they've been trying to put more and more weapons around Lamar Jackson. And I think in this game, he does get the touchdown to get people fired up. So I'm going to take Deontay Johnson. Didn't get anything uh, in his first game with the Ravens, but this time around, I think he figures it out. So uh, plus 270. I'm going to take a swing, Sal. Okay. Take that swing. I'm going to take that swing. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, they get him in there. That was a good pickup. And, you know, we we see with DeAndre Hopkins um, signing, you know, we're going to see these new guys explode, I think. I thought that was going to be the guy that they went for, to be honest. You know, Hopkins, Henry, uh, reunion there, former Titans guys playing with each other with the Ravens. I think they put in for him, but they spelled DeAndre wrong, and it ended up being (laughs) Deontay. This is how birth certificates are messed up. I know. It's tough. It's tough with this stuff. It's how it works. Let's 